Okay, we're up to lesson four using Portrait Pro 15, photo enhancement software. All right, let's open up the program, Portrait Pro 15. And on your right side here, you select Open Image. And I'm going to pick this photo here. It's a picture of Harry Styles from One Direction, and I got it from somewhere. And I'm using it because he has acne in the picture. I don't know if it's real or not, but I needed a picture of somebody with uh, bad skin. All right. As you can see, here are the lines that go over the face to see if everything's in the right place. On this particular photo, the program selected the face properly. It looks like everything's pretty okay. So we'll select um, male. Okay. It loads up for you there. All right. Now, for this um, tutorial, I'm going to use view before only. Okay. Now, there's his face. As you can see, whether it's real or not, there's some acne and some markings on his face. So let's pretty him up a little bit. He's already a cutie, but anybody can use some help when it comes to a photo. All right. The first thing you want to do is zoom into your picture like that. And you go up top here and hit zoom and you can go up and down in size. Let's make it pretty big because we have to work with small areas. And now take your crosshairs and put it on the square and slide up so we can do his forehead first. All right. Here we go. Now hit your touch up button up top. Um, I usually leave strength to 100 so I can get the full benefits of using this tool. And for size for this thing, I'm going to hit about 25 or so, maybe a little bit bigger. All right, let's make it 40. Okay, now when you get your, whatever you call it, your cursor or whatever it's called, a circle here. If you click, 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 click like that, it begins to remove the marking that you'd like to remove from the face. You can either click around, which I like to do because I like the click, 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 click sound, or you can just Press down your left mouse button with your finger, hold it, and you can slide it around smoothly like this. So I'll do this for a second to save some time. See, we're cleaning up the forehead here. You don't want to go into the hairline because it'll make it look unnatural and too smooth. You don't want to go into the eyebrows too much because it's a guy. All right, we've got his forehead pretty clean. I don't see anything else. And you can uh, triple click on a spot if you see a spot that kind of didn't go away. Just triple click on it. All right. Now take your crosshairs, put it on the square. Let's slide down a bit to the middle of his face. Same thing. You can slide around. And since we're over here messing with his face, let's take these circles from under his eyes. Just smooth it out, clicking or sliding across. You don't want to make him look too flawless because it's a guy and he's not supposed to look too smooth. All right. Now, when you do the nose area, make sure you don't take out too much of the shallow. Sh I can't talk again, as usual. Don't take out too much of the shadows and highlights on the nose that define the shape of the nose on the person's face. And I'll show you what I mean. Like if I was to do this, it would look weird. OK, because he doesn't have any side lines and shadows on his nose. So let's take those out. All right. Now just click, click or slide. I'll click here. Go down to the tip, not too far down. You don't want to remove shadows. Clean up what you need to. All right? Take clean up a little here. There's some stray hairs over here. And make sure he doesn't have a unibrow. Clean up his eyebrows a little bit while we're in here, but not too much. Now, continue to clean the face up by sliding around like this. Sliding or clicking as you need to. Okay, now we're ready to slide down to the bottom part of his face. Uh, right there. All right. Now he has some facial hair, slight shadow of a mustache on his upper lip and a little on his chin that we can leave in because he's a guy and guys are supposed to look rough and tough and scruffy. Now he has a um, spot here right at his smile line. Click it a little bit. All right. Continue to click or to slide around, clean up his face. Not too much. I want to clean this up a little bit. Leave a little bit of the facial fuzz. 
Uh, let's see what else. All right. Now, go back to your full picture. You can hit face. Fit or face, see? Or you can use this. I'm going to hit fit. All right. Now, look at that. He looks pretty cleaned up there, right? But as you notice, his skin looks a little bit sallow. So let's go to skin smoothing controls. Okay? And if you were to use this control, and you can drop it down by clicking on the arrow for the feature, skin smoothing controls, you could use master fade and do that. If you do it to 100 or close, it makes it look too smooth, and it's a guy, so you don't want him to look like all, like a mannequin. So maybe... Well, you can do Master Fade, or you can scroll down a bit and select which thing you'd like to change. How about we take Master Fade off, right? And now just do... What's good for him? Uh, texture. Let's try Texture. Uh, that's not doing too much. All right, let's go back up a little bit. How about Remove Pores? That's better. All right, and again, his skin looks a little sallow, so let's close out our box for skin controls. Slide down to skin coloring controls. Let's give this man a little bit of color. Right now, it's preset to a feature. It looks like icy frosting. You can use a preset feature in your skin coloring controls, which again, we drop down with the arrow. And they have a bunch of features here for skin enhancement. They have baby skin, healthy glow. Let's give this man a healthy glow. All right, that helped a little, but let's see what else we have. Moon glow? No. Um, ivory? No. All right, let's leave it on healthy glow, right? That's a preset. But now let's go and do our own thing here. Let's do cheek coloring. Not too much. Just a hint. You don't want him to look like he has blush or makeup. All right. And tan. Let's give him a little more color. All right. That's about all you need for that. So you're pretty much done. As you can see, he still looks natural, gorgeous, but the acne is gone, and I'll show you. Now click on your view up here and change it to before and after so you can see what the work that you did. Now look at the difference in his skin. As you can see, there's not much change on his face other than the fact that his acne is gone. Um, but he still looks great. He looks masculine and he looks nice and smooth, but not too smooth where he looks unnatural. So that's it. So let's go back to view after only. Right? That's your work. View before only. That's where you started from. Big difference. Really nice. I love this program. Love it. All right, that's it. See you next time, or talk to you next time. Bye. There's a thin line between thin reality, line reality and, and psychosis. And psychosis. Please, subscribe. Please, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>